Oh, you have been resummoned, have you? Oh, welcome back. Last time on D and D, you guys went to bed and leveled up. Hey. Oh yeah, you also met uh, some of the um, bartenders, and the barmaid, and and the Lord who met, knocked everyone out. Met the Lord of Fortress City of Ironfall, and. Someone made him laugh. I'm not pointing fingers. And knocked out nearly everyone in the bar. Embarrassed the lord of the city you're staying in. Before he noped out of there. And then you guys went to bed. After getting drunk and eating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not not everyone got. Not everyone ate. Get the point. Lots went down. Yes. Oh. You guys. uh, Morning rolls around. And you can smell freshly baked bread wafting cracks of the door. (laughs) And you can see birds flying past the window in the room. And even though you can't see the sky past the surrounding building. You can also smell the breeze with coal and sulfur and hot iron. You can tell that it's fair weather outside. And the clamor of people walking about the street and going about their business downstairs as well starts to fill the air. Again. Uh, so, how should we go about today? I'm now that we have to start actually making a living. Well, I would assume you guys want breakfast first. Well, we still had some questions. We were gonna ask uh, Demi if he had uh, mm. something first we we could do to help. I mean. I also have some very pointed questions. I don't know if it would be a good idea to actually approach him willy-nilly. I think we'll be fine. He did tell us that it only happened once for certain things. You just don't make him laugh. Because clearly laughing fucked everyone up. Alright. Memory. I don't remember what you're talking about. No, no, I think you were unconscious. I imagine for you it was but a dream. <laughs> well, actually, I did stay up. Oh, were you one of the few that stayed? Yeah, he stayed on his feet. <laughs> it's the fucking I still g- out the whole tavern, basically. Yeah, I can see his role. <laughs> he- uh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Alright, so we're gonna head down and get some breakfast. Yes. All of us are organic beings, anyway. That's okay. I have a surprise for a certain someone when we go down there. Yay. Alright. Alright, so I guess we're heading down. Assuming Quick and uh, James don't have an issue. Don't. You guys good? Alright. Yep. As you open the door, a fairly large group of children are playing in the hallway, tossing a ball back and forth. And not notice you. And James, the ball's about to hit you in the face, but you. What do you do? I cannot hear you. I try and dodge it. Okay. Shit. All right. Um. Uh, you can dodge it. It's not going. It's not going. To have this bad step out of the way. Okay. All right. Would I oh, be able to give it a, like a slap back in their direction? 
like how you ta- or tap a balloon to kind of like go and uh, uh, roll. balance away. Uh, roll uh, dirty. All right. Oh, well then, that would be a six. <laughs> you you go to slap it, and you just nick it with your thumb. And the kid it was originally going to has thrown just enough off its course that that kid wasn't go- isn't going to catch any like bounces off the wall. He's like, "Oh, sorry, Mister, I didn't mean to almost hit you." It's okay, uh, small child. Uh, oh. I said, it's okay, small child. Oh, thank you, mister. Let's go play outside, guys. That's the smallest guy in our group. <laughs> and Actually, it's between me and James who's smallest, actually. Oh, is it? Well, I have well, to keep I'm... forgetting you're a drow. I look, I look well, at the children, and uh, you can sense a little bit of sadness. Um, yeah, I'm sir, you get, yeah, sir, you get your knickers in a bunch, and then they run down the flight of stairs. Let's slap them on the back. We'll find them. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I hope. Let's get down the stairs. We'll have a surprise for you. And as we make it downstairs without further incident, you get down there and you actually wait a bit. There, people are like squeezed around the tables and they're all eating. Like they're eating some kind of large bird and eggs with a glass of some kind of orange pulpy what in God's name are you people ingesting yourselves? Yes. I don't know what that is. Hey, would, I, would I be able to do an insight check to see if I can determine? Um, yeah. Um, so go ahead and make... Uh, I'm going to say make a survival roll. That's survival. That's okay. closer to what it would Okay. That's another Jeez. six. No, oh, Jesus. All right. Six, six, six. Survival or I nature? I just need one more. Uh, roll nature this time. Nature? Uh, oh, it's my bonus for nature. That's two. That is a six six six. I just <laughs> rolled a third six. Guys, get the hell out of here! You're bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> I just rolled a four with a plus two after a five plus one and a three plus three. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's why they need to be burned. So, when when you try to imagine what kind of bird it, um. <laughs> The only thing you can think of is a giant rubber ducky for some reason. <laughs> rubber ducky. Mm, duck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask the barkeep what it is. Uh, it's hard to see the barkeep actually past all the people at the bar trying to order breakfast. But oh, you can try. An amazing start. You can try and get her Sorry. attention. I have a great way to get her attention. No. I'm going to pull a barrel of wine out of my bag. Uh-huh. Okay. So, why don't you make a strength check? <laughs> uh, is this just straight strength? Um. Yeah. Just 14. All right. So, it, it takes you a little bit more effort to heft it out the bag than you expected, but you manage. Everyone else you sees uh, uh, curator here. They go to like confidently 
pull something out of his bag just to end up like half fumbling out a 50 gallon barrel of something. What am I <laughs> Would you like some wine? No. Why? You can't. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> I started searching oh for the barrel for uh, a spout. <laughs> uh, there, there is a very obvious cork in it. Um, Hunter, only people that notice that you just pulled this barrel out, I guess, is your party. <laughs> the crowd rolled a two, and the barkeepers rolled a one. <laughs> You're telling me all these people, only the party saw it? Yep. <laughs> Jesus. They are so yeah, engrossed in their meals that you don't exist. Uh, well, you could always call out free wine. I don't know. Do you want to give it away for free? I compare the size of me to the barrel. I'm like, well, I can't drink it all. <laughs> I just, it just won't fit. Uh... All right, well, help me pick it up and bring it over to the barkeep, then. This should get her attention. You get that end, I'll get this end. <laughs> the deal. I do have an idea as oh to how God. I could get everybody's attention. Without pissing do, them off? Do, how bad do we want to get everybody's attention? I just want the barkeep's attention. Okay, never mind. I won't do it. <clears throat> you gotta... You gotta... You know, do a strip tease on top of one of the tables? Nope. I was going to minor illusion uh, the, the skull guy's laugh. <laughs> that would have been evil. Uh, I am supposed to be chaotic good. So. Um, <laughs> love that. Speaking. I'm back. I can infuse a small object with his laugh. I could also do something as simple as message, so but I'm not going to do that one. Well, I can record a six second long recorded message. So it could just be six seconds of his laugh. Well, you'd have to be recording it. I, d I definitely intend on doing it at some point. Okay. But let's bring this over to the barkeep and see if this gets her his attention. Yeah. So you guys approach the bar with the barrel. And nobody notices you enough to get out of the way. <laughs> Push through? Did you say sure? Uh, um, no, I didn't. Uh, free wine coming through. <laughs> Why do we Scoot. want the? All right, food. Never mind. All right, so uh, two of the people notice you. They're like, "Oh, oh, okay." Uh. uh Come on, guys. And they start, like, body bumping all over. And without even looking, everyone just starts nudging closer together until there's enough where you get it to the bar. Ugh. I'm not following them. I'm staying back a little bit and taking a look at the map to see if there's another place where you go for food. <laughs> We're right. going to make a party. <laughs> it's five o'clock oh. somewhere. <laughs> I, I don't want people close enough to my pockets for that. It's, I mean, there absolutely is that you can that you mm -hmm. yeah, I'm seeing that there's like three um, three taverns marked on the map. Stay back. Um, I don't isn't. Fudge Nugget. Uh, I think that there's also a bar. And some of the writing is a little difficult. 
Yeah, I know. I was in a rush at the time. Yeah, that's okay. Um, if I and now I keep saying I'll get to making the map better, but that's uh, okay. all right. So I'll try and help out a little bit here. Um, so there's a couple different bars you see there, but there are some specifically uh, food places that you see. Uh, and those are the four on the very bottom. That's Top Ramen, Top Don, Pony's Butcher, and Billy Bob's Vittles. Oh, we have to go to number 27. So, I think I will pull Royal off to the side and ask if he wants to check out some of these places located on the map. Sure, I'd be happy to go with you. All right. And I guess that I will just send a message using my cantrip to um, Curator and Finric saying that uh, me and Royal is going to check out some places on the map for some food. Can we respond to it? You are able to send a uh, reply, yes. Okay, we'll be here. <laughs> He's going to come back and we're going to be doing the Knights of the Round Table jig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I guess we're splitting the party? I mean, it's just for breakfast. Yeah. Well, at least for now. So. Uh, well, to, to be fair, we don't need to eat, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do I, did James walk up to the counter with them? He's not what? quite. He's been here. He's in the bathroom off. right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll wait for him to come back. Oh, and he's... And then I'll there. invite him, too. I believe James has come back. Oh. Uh, mm. Although, I'm going to be honest with you, Kazi. I think no matter where you go right now, it's going to be packed to the fucking brim. Yeah. There the is, of, I mean, it'll also give me a chance to, like, survey the town and whatever, so. And, and to be clear, is this map only has what the uh, person who made the map for all the refugees knows of. So this is their knowledge of the city. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's supposed to be a hand-drawn map. So when you guys get an official map, quote-unquote... We'll, we'll be forcing you to do your extras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I, then this will also give me like the chance to see if it is like an official map also, and if there's any like discrepancies. Mm-hmm kind of thing and then I can start like for example filling in some other some like things I some points of interest I find yeah kind of thing so like if you look and where you guys came from see that weird wedge part on the map mm -hmm. that you know from where you walked in that's not a wedge. That's a, like where the area. A what area? Oh, it. There's no. I kind of hard to show you without literally showing you. Yeah. So next to the, just... between the warehouse district and where you see all the like housing areas. Mm -hmm. Like that, it looks like a pizza slice. Um, uh, yeah. So when you guys came in on the airship and stuff like that, you know that that isn't actually what that shape is. Mm -hmm. So you can tell that there's discrepancy. Yeah. Just because you did get somewhat of a bird's eye view. 
of the area. Yeah, but this will also kind of give me a chance to get like the lay of the land, kind of like figuring out like when you're in the slums kind of thing, it's kind of important to like know where you can go kind of thing. Yeah. What kind of uh, groups there are. So. Oh man, do you remember when I was trying to make Iron Fall in Kenji, uh, Kazi? Yeah, I remember that vaguely. Yeah, I also remember that. That was a, but I couldn't find a big enough open spot to. It. <laughs> Yeah, there really isn't too. I mean, much there is technically one spot. Yeah, I I think there might be like. Yeah. It's kind of covered with acid rain, though. Oh, is it? That's not what I was thinking of. It has very frequent peak or peak thing patrols. So. Oh, oh you think of the desert? Yeah, I was thinking of the desert area, <laughs> like. Right between the um, acid rain area and like the full on desert, like there's actually some like watery areas. I, I might thing. actually try that. Mm. Welcome back, Jim. All right. Uh, did you walk up with Hunter and Quack to the counter, James? Yeah. Okay. Then I will send you the same message that I sent them, in that um, me and Royal will be checking out a couple or a place or two on the map to get some food. Okay. You are able to send a reply back if you choose, but if you're just saying okay, then I guess me and Royal will leave. Okay. Alright. Alright, so... You guys plop the barrel down on the bar then? Mm -hmm. Alright. When you plop it down on the bar, Hunter, you notice that it has the same deal on it as the barrel sitting behind the counter. Was this bought from your bar, Barkeep? Uh, why, yes. Um, one of our older fishes. How good is it? It's pretty good. Well, I got nineteen more of them. Oh, that's quite a that's quite a bit. <laughs> Did Quack just die? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Quack loves dying, so. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting me to say nineteen more barrels. No. <laughs> so. Can we crack this one open and try it out? Because I don't know what it tastes like or how old it is. Uh, she flips a little spout out of her like a pocket in her apron on her waist and tucks it in direction. Uh, more, mm-hmm. more like an underhand, like an underhand toss, nice and slow. Okay. Is there a direct, someone it's heading more towards? Um, it is heading more towards Black. Well, then I will attempt to catch it. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll dexterity. I'll ready myself in case he misses. Oh. The string <laughs> of sixes continue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Quack goes to catch it, and he ends up smacking it instead. All right, oh. Hunter, it's up to you now. <laughs> <laughs> All 
You get six, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, then. Um, oh. I have sixes in a row. <laughs> six sixes, actually. I rolled the last dice I rolled was a six. Oh, All right, so... Black goes to catch it, and he accidentally smacks it, and Hunter goes to grab it and smacks it straight down oh. into the floor. And now oh. the spout is lodged in the floor at you two's feet. I gotta pull it out of the floor. The, the bartender starts fucking laughing. Um. Uh, Alright. Are you uh, already drunk by, by chance? I I want... Oh, she's too busy laughing. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, oh, everyone around you also starts. Hunter, I want you to just roll a flat d20 for me. 18. All right, and you managed to pull it out of the floor without breaking it. All right, still a multiple of six. <laughs> That's the combination of three sixes. Christ, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just, like, unpronouncedly curse this session? Let's see. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess there's an obvious place where I can uh, insert the spout into the barrel. Yeah, you smack it into the cork. Okay. <laughs> and then it's got a little knob on it. All right, uh, let's get some glasses and see how this shit tastes. All right. So, she has some glasses. Starts giving everyone else two. You draw a draft of wine. Indeed, we do. All right. Take a drink, and at first it, and then like the flavor just rolls out of bitterness. It's actually really good. A fine aged wine. It's also fairly strong. Uh, oh, not quite twice as strong as a norm up there for wines. I assume the person also gave herself a glass. No, she and people like pat your guys' backs and grab a drink of their own. And then uh, someone <laughs> uh, holds a plate up to you guys, and they're like, I don't know if we'll forge, but giant canary? Uh, That's what that is? Yeah. The last time I saw a canary, it was like in the palm of my hand. The fuck are you feeding them? They're, they're giant canaries? I mean, I don't particularly eat, but... I, I don't. My bag does. They normally live in the ancient forest, but we raise them. Oh. I, I, I pull out... I think I still have it. Yeah, I pull out my big old jug that I stole from the... I didn't stole, I bought it off of the... Uh, He's going to fill it with the wine. The, the, uh, oh, it's, uh, the shopkeep in Thule, the general store shopkeep. And just fill it. <laughs> um, as you guys continue your merriment, um, Kazi, um, as you, which one are you guys going to? Billy Bob's Vittles? Yeah, because it seems funny. Yeah, so it, <laughs> it's about you know three blocks walk.
see people walking around. Um, awful odd amount are giant, uh, almost rotisserie style birds. Um, but you get down to uh, where Billy Bob's vittles are supposed to be, and it. Do, do I see any like points of interest or anything? In like places that I think could be of interest on my way down during the three blacks. Uh, yes, yes, you do. Um, uh, on the second corner, uh, that you get to, you see a store and it shows two, uh, pointed hats up top and they're like illusion. They're like bouncing up and down. And it says, Hats, Margic, Top. Uh, one second. I derped and did not have my note thing. Oh. Up. Yeah. Okay, so. And I will put that in. In character, so you know how it's about. Okay. Yeah, I also didn't catch the name, so I'll just copy paste the name. Okay. I can see that they have wonderful literature. <laughs> is there any like windows or anything or well I guess I wouldn't pay that close of attention to see like what they're it, selling it looks like a giant blanket fort oh alright okay So, are you gonna go in, or are you gonna? Oh no. my god! <laughs> hey, someone tried calling me. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'm not gonna make a detour. I was just, I might go in later, okay. like like maybe on my way or on our way back or something. Okay. But the objective is to get food right. and like get the lay of the land kind of thing. So you continue down to uh, Billy Bob's Billy Bob Vittles and uh, just see people. Uh, there's a lot of people walking, but there's also a significant amount of people sitting on floors, uh, leaning against building stuff, eating. Well, it seems like most people have a shared. Uh, Eating schedule down here. Get to Billy Bob's Vittles, and it's wedged in between two buildings on the corner. There's only one building between it and the and. It is, it looks like this guy just likes some boards to get a building at half hazard, uh, very poorly assembled two by fours. And there's a sign hanging off from one of them by a string and a chain. And on it, it says Billy Bob Vittles. I was not keeping up with the description. Perfect. I get that it looks like 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 it's very run down. No, it doesn't look run down. It looks oh, okay. poorly constructed. Stay back. Poorly constructed. Yeah, so like it's clean, right? And it looks like 
what is there is very well maintained. Like, whoever owns it is proud of it. But it looks like a five-year-old built it. Like, you know, one of those lemonade stands that some kids might build on the side of, like, the corner of a street. The whole building looks like that. So a place I might like. Um, the entrance is completely open. There's no door. And there's a couple chairs. And then there's a counter. And you can actually see some the kitchen from the sitting stool and there's a guy back there cooking. Much as I wanted just the construction what? probably couldn't build a name for myself. I, go ahead. I did not understand a word you just said. Yeah, you're going to have to repeat that. Sorry, Royal. Said as much as I want to diss the construction of that house, or in that house, sorry. Bing probably couldn't build it any better myself. I would have to agree that I probably couldn't do better myself either. <laughs> you want to go check out what they serve here? Sure. All right, I guess we're going to go in and see what they have to order. Uh, the man behind the counter seems fairly engrossed, but it's fairly obvious. There are these bright blue bells sitting all along. They ring several different lengths. Bright blue bells on all the tables. It's a bar, but in front of each bar. stool on oh, the bar. I want to confidently slap one of the bells. It rings, and the guy spins around, and it is a lizard man, and he's missing like half his teeth. And Lovely. he's missing an eye. And he lifts his hand up in the air like he's going to point in the air with his index finger. But it's missing. He goes, Welcome to Billy Bob Vittles. What can I get you for? What do you have to eat? I have vittles and griddles. I don't know the definition for vittle. I have no idea what that is either. <laughs> it's just a it's British term for like food and snacks and shit. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> it means food. <laughs> Serves food and food. Lovely. You sell um, giant cockroaches? Mm, uh, I'll see why I got it in back. Hold on a second. And he like pushes this weird sheet aside. And he goes on the back and you hear clanking and clamoring. And you're, get back here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and you hear what sounds like stomping. And then very distinctly sound of a frying pan bouncing off from a wall and then like hitting something squishy. Oh no, I'm just remembering the thing with the goblin has the frying pan and uh, the bad, big bad guy is doing his like speech, like I won speech and the, the goblin pulls out the frying pan and smashes the guy's face in. <laughs> it's just a, a big rackus in the back. And he comes back out <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> and he holds up a small chicken 
And he says, I got road trade. <laughs> Uh, that is not a kind of roach I've ever seen before. Notice that it's got a name tag on its foot that says roach. Uh. Ah. Alright, I, I guess could I get that fried up and how much would that be? <laughs> sure can! And that'd be you'd like roach an awful lot, so I guess two copper. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? And he, it, I kid you not, it takes this guy less than 20 seconds to skin the chicken, gut it, and cut it up. And it's oh, on, on the frying pan. It was almost like a blur of motion. And he takes, it looks like sticks or like very tightly wound or wrapped like burrito and he chucks them into some grease and then there's these small little bricks starts frying on like a pan throwing it all together he's like mm mm-hmm i'll just have to go get me a new roach hopefully that one picks up the mice like this And hopefully that one won't what? Except the mice like this one did. Oh. Well then. And you can see he this is his pink thumbs. Snaps his fingers up in the and the food just like there's a burst of flame that comes from where the food is. He's like, that's about it. And he turns around and he throws two fully garnished and quite impressive looking plates of food in front of you. Ooh. Uh, is that two cappers per person or total? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll I'm toss not, two copper at him. <laughs> he catches the copper and now he's Staring up into the air, uh, like it looks like you broke him. <laughs> it's his, he's he's buffering. It, it looks really good, though. Um, I'll start like digging in uh, as well, Royal. I'm also gonna him to just you're gonna, ch- you're gonna toss two coins to him bounce off his face calling it now can't be as bad as we fucking fumbled the spout he doesn't even notice that you tried to give him he's still bu- oh. as quack put it buffering um right, so I just took the two copper away so you don't have to do anything um, it's, it's good. Perfectly caramelized, the fully cooked and juicy still. It, like, it, probably the best meat I've had in quite a while. Now, this is some food. I did like roach enough a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just give me two copper. <laughs> it's all right. I had a whole nother bit I was going to do with roach. That worked out better. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what I want to use that favor on now, too. <laughs> like getting the lizard man another chicken? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Getting those dwarves to go in actually uh, give this guy a proper shop. He deserves more than a five-year-old constructed playhouse. <laughs> Does it is awesome? And almost out of nowhere, he slaps himself in the face. 
like real hard. He was like, I had two copper piece. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> this is really good, by the way. I thank you. Most people don't even want to walk through the door. They stand right there and they order and then they go. <laughs> I don't see why they want to answer. This place is beautiful. I swear to God, it, this, the roof only fell the one time. <laughs> no, right? Who wouldn't want to walk in? <laughs> yeah, you guys now notice that the area you're in is missing. <laughs> so you can quite literally oh. look straight up into the sky. That just means that we are perfectly safe here. So, and plus, we now don't that have means to worry about really. the uh, roof caving in now, so. Right. Well, y'all. So that only means. Y'all have. only means you got Y'all have a good day. Now get the fuck out of my shop. <laughs> right, you also have a good day, sir. <laughs> Maybe stop by one of the uh, rejuvenation ponds or something. Bye. <laughs> he goes to wave at you, but you notice he's missing like three out of his five fingers. The only fingers he has left on his right hand. Um. If we've met a guy like that, but only after certain. Well, he was pretty nifty. So. On our way back, do you want to stop by a store that we passed by? I didn't. But it's, uh, oh, as I was mean, just looking around. It's your day today, sir. What? It's your day today, sir. It's your day today. You're going to cry somewhere or what? You, you keep cutting in and out, so it's hard to understand. Yeah. I think he said, it's your day. He said, how is your day? Oh. Oh. I just kept hearing tear day this today, sir. So, uh, it's pretty good now that I had some fried chicken. <laughs> that is agreeable. I ate somebody's pet. <laughs> But, but yeah, how, how about we stop by that store? Just if only to look around. Yeah, sounds good. So I guess that we'll stop by um, the cat's merch shop. Um, shop. <laughs> You guys is your day going just as well as mine? Heck. This, this mic is really bad. He's being talked to right now. Oh, okay. Oh. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, yeah, we're heading towards that um, pointed hat shop that looks like a blanket fort. While having some idle chatter. So. You guys get to Hat's Magic Shop. And, uh,. Notice the door is about as high as your. Um, I guess I'll knock <laughs> with your foot. <laughs> yeah. So you go to knock on the blank, and it rings out really loud. Actually, like you're knocking 
on a big hollow wooden door. I think I kind of want to make sure that no one's going to sneak up behind me or anything also. Keep this watch. would be a little more sketchy, you... particularly because of the children in um, Tamriel, I believe the name was. Here we are. Yeah. So when you look behind yourself, you actually can see from this side that... Um, there's more dancing hats. That's well, all, that's not unsettling. It's only visible from this side. And after a fairly short moment, uh, oh, my image! Um, <clears throat> Oh, not wrong here. Uh, the door uh, gets big and is now about exactly as tall as you. I said I'm about. Just gonna and, wait. What? I said no. I said about and exactly. It's as tall as you are. Okay. Which is five feet, so Mr. Dragonborn might need to duck. How tall is the door? Five feet tall. Curious. I'm actually going to have to duck quite a bit. Unless it's as tall as uh, Royal is. But my character is five feet tall. Okay. So you both walk in. And everything looks like it's made out of blankets, but it's like got a full counter and see through, like mostly see that, you know, where glass count like cases would be, stuff like that. And uh, mm. there's like rings. Bracelet. Uh, the wands. There's actually quite a few cups. And the green. Like, there's so many ball trinkets. Almost unsettling. So many. Do you have a thing for balls? And get no response. Don't see shopkeeper. Hmm. Uh, can I tell like what they are, or if they have any like particular designs? Or um, I'm assuming since it's a well, they they almost look like bells. Like, you know those round bells that they put on, like, uh, like sleigh bells. They look like sleigh bells. Could I pick one up and ring one? Just I, to, like, fiddle with it? Uh, can most certainly try. Oh, so <laughs> you, you go to grab one of the, uh, bells and hit your hand. Oh, interesting. Can I try and push on the force a little bit? Not like hard, but just to like see, just to like feel the resistance. Yes. So when you go to do that, uh, the force is still preventing you from doing it, but you can hear like an audible like ting, 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 like oh. if you walk into a grocery store. Oh, interesting. Hold on. I'm essentially just playing with it at this point. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear like the softest little pitter patter, and then all the counters start changing from blankets to like wooden counters and 
stuff like that and then this teeny tiny little is like foot and a half tall cat person thing walks up oh is there anything here that's not magical no. <laughs> this is really cool. And I'm just continuing like, to kind of like just pulse on like the little force preventing me from touching it. <laughs> uh, you look in character, this is your shopkeeper. Uh, you're going to have real f a lot of fun with this voice. <laughs> <laughs> And the Horrible. little cat person like walks up to you and starts like doing the sissy slap at your hand. Oh, uh, no, 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 touch it. It's cool. I mean, I wasn't like, pet, trying to touch keep anything in particular. I, I was just, I just thought that little force living was really cool. <laughs> the shop keep like. Wints at you, picks up the little um, bell ball that you were trying to touch, holds it up over their head and it twice, and then hands it to you. Now you can. Um, okay, I'll proceed to put my hand back where it was and just play with the uh, boards again. The force field in that spot is. All right, I'm gonna actually look visibly disappointed. <laughs> My ruined you. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll examine the bell. So disappointed. It is. I, I, I am disappointed. It is, by all accounts purposes as far as you can tell at first glance a normal bell all right can i do what he did and ring it twice you can and the uh pupils of the storekeeper get huge and that's about all you notice all right well, can, then, can i try finding the forest again <laughs> you can. <laughs> um, so out of uh, common sense, reach for a different item that the storekeeper did not give. And now you have the same thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I just no. got a big grin on my face again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I look and trade that well. <laughs> So intrigued. How did you, how do you have this, or how do you do this? And yeah, uh, the the storekeeper uh, I'll goes. Stop. This. If, it, if it's actually seeming like it's bothering him, I'll stop. I magic back. <laughs> and All right. next thing you notice is cat. Uh, I'll stop. The the storekeep. That person has the bell that you in their hand and puts it back. Um, is there any like function to these aside from, I guess, preventing me from touching them? The uh, the cat or the shopkeeper puts their up in the air and like arc. Uh, it's they're magical. Uh, it's awesome. Go ahead, Royal. Walk up to the storekeeper and try to pet them. Wow. Like an almost childish joy in my face. Someone's getting their face scratched off. <laughs> Surprisingly, the storekeeper allows you to. Hey. You, that, there's a low hiss. Like, my mic's not picking it up. 
but it uh, like almost like a cat growl, but it's more of a hiss. So yeah, you may not want to do that one. I'm saying that out of character. I also look visibly disappointed. Upkeep. Well, it's my magical shop. All right, the- so, uh, can I look at the items to see if there's any, like, flags to see if it displays what they do? Uh, you do or notice like that any- a lot of the displays do have descriptions, but it, it they're weird. It, it's more like they're des- describing how they make you feel. Like, this ring a dee ting ting Makes my heart flutter. The chase is on. Mm. Or uh, the, this one's blinky makes me happy. Infuse heart with magical goodness. I think I might be a little interested in that one. And then if there's one that can kind of. Um, Distract, like, um, serve as like a bit of a disorienting, like, distraction kind of thing. Uh, you find like, one like that, find a ball of yarn that the <laughs> plaque says, <laughs> very distracting, is an emergency. Uh, all right, and Hmm. Is there any other I think that there would be another one I'd be interested in if it like agitated a group indiscriminately. You find scratching. <laughs> Right. Um, for those three things, about how much would it, would they be individually? Everything in here is marked for five silver. Five silver, and I mentioned what four things. So that would be twenty silver. So two gold. Uh, do they, uh, I'll, I'm asking the shopkeep, do these affect, like, people also, or just, like, cat folk? Excuse me, I am people. Alright, other humanoids? I, I, that was bad terminology <laughs> on my part. I apologize. <laughs> I have to buy and see. Hmm. Uh, I will buy a or the ball of yarn. I think. Oh, very good choice. The ball of yarn and the um, the scratch post. How big is the scratch post? Scratch post about a foot tall. Oh, it's a small one. Okay. Uh huh. And so it, there'll be one, there'll be one gold. Then that'll take off. The scratching post also looks like it's made out of chalkboard instead of a. Oh. Oh no. And apparently it's a very oh. irritating to scratch. <laughs> you, you didn't let me fit in the, like read off the plaque. Oh my bad. Hmm. Uh, the plaque just says very irritating to scratch. Maybe not scratch post. Uh I actually already forgot the other two things. 
there was a blankie and what was the thing? Remember offhand. Uh there was one that made them feel all warm and fuzzy. That was the actually I don't remember what the fourth one was either. Oh. Probably. What did the bell do again? It was something about uh Your heart, heart was on. Oh yeah, that would be the one that filled them with happiness or whatever. So that would be the same one I was thinking of, and I don't remember what the fourth one was. Because there was the scratch post, the yarn, the happy, and then... There's the bell, blanket, yarn ball, what was the blanket? Post. It, the the blanket made them fuzzy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'll just take the yarn. Okay. Okay. So there's I silver. Have silver. <laughs> oh. Uh, so I think I'll. The, yeah, I'm going to have to remove one gold piece and then add five silver to my balance. All right. Now you have a good day. You too. Thanks for um, the education. How much does the blanket cost? See if I have five silver. Could have five I, silver. Excellent thing. I don't know how to check. I don't remember how to check. I'll do your inventory. Yeah. Nine silver pieces. And if I buy this blanket, you can buy the blanket. Nope. I guess. What was that? I removed the five silver. I think. You want me to remove the silver for you? I removed it. Okay. Okay, cool. We definitely get you a headset. Won't be hard. Actually. Um... Now you have a good day. You too. <laughs> and I guess we're heading back. Hunter. Back. Everyone's having a merry good time. But things are starting to calm down. People are finishing. They're leaving. It's not long before the crowd isn't a crowd anymore. How much of the barrel is left? Barrel has about twenty percent left. I want to say I'm on my third pitcher. <laughs> Not everyone got wine. Uh -huh. About ten gallons left. What the hell am I going to do with 10 gallons? I was hoping to empty the barrel. Well, well y'all see, honey, you could just leave it there. You're okay with that? I don't know. 
Not like anyone going to complain about getting free drinks, sweetie. Well, I just didn't know if you felt that it was going to be bad if you had to clean it up after. That's all. Oh, well, who am I kidding? What else have I got to do with no one else? Okay. I have no wish you just leaving it there then. If you're okay with it. Certainly. And it's about this time that um Royal go back go back up. Walk through the door. And there's significant people here. There's maybe twenty people all together. Well, it's really clear that I didn't hear. Well, y'all know once they done eat breakfast, they got jobs to go do. That's fair. Well, speaking of jobs, where would we want it? Oh, right. No, never mind. You already told us where we can go to start making some money. Picking up you no know, plates and stuff. All that good jazz. For the record, the guy that offered the giant canary, I would have given it to the bag. Okay. I had uh, seemed appreciative. Figured it would like something other than what it's been eating the same thing up for God knows how fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone notice the bag eating it? Is the question. Mm. No, I'm too busy. I'm, I'm too busy chugging. And Kazi wasn't here to notice either. And neither was Will. So nobody noticed the bag just eating a giant canary. Well, to everyone else, nope. it would have just looked like you put it in your bag. Mm, I suppose. All right, so I guess I'll walk over to Curator Finrick and James and ask if they took care of what they needed to take care of here. Want free wine? Yes. No, I don't believe I got a drink with my meal, so sure. <laughs> I'm at it. I don't suppose it would hurt. I won't. I don't know. Uh, good. Did you say you're grabbing something? Yeah. Not much, though. But James said he's good. All right. Discovery, All right, so I have so many barrels. I need you, to do something with them. You guys sit down, have another drink, catch up with what happened between your little adventures while doing so. And then, as the last few drops, burial out between you and and a few that come out, that fourth out of. All right. One less barrel to deal with. So, would you guys reckon that we go in and, uh, what off to do next? Should we look at actually making back some of the money we've been spending, or... We could always use more money. Or should we try and head to... Or try and find, um... Uh, what was his name? Uh, Demi? Uh... We might be able to kill two birds with one stone if we head to the arena. Uh, I mean, we could certainly see if Demi's there. Any other input? I want to. I want to visit uh, Marcus. All right, That's we left him in a fucking regeneration pool. You right. notice uh, this this last pitcher that I filled up? I'm not drinking it. I'm just holding it. You want to give it to Marcus? Maybe. 
Look at you being sentimental with your drinking buddy. All right, so I guess do you uh, have anything to add, James and Royal? Yes. All right, so let's visit Marcus, then go to the arena. All right. You guys start making your way up to the uh, temple. And guys, uh, get about two feet from the door. And dwarves run up to you. <laughs> Are you the drow? I mean, I'm a drow. They both start rubbing their beards at the exact same time. And, like, they're pondering. Can there, I no, help you? He, he looks like the drow that they saved. I mean, but I... What, on the ship. I did help a dwarf on a ship. On the way here. Well, come mm -hmm. by the industrial. I'm just budding. And uh, we'll, I, we'll get you I sorted. Got, um, okay. I'm going to be, when they came up, I'm going to discreetly hide the mug behind my back. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. So, what did they say about the industry and uh, district toxic? Because your voice was like getting louder and quieter, louder and quieter. Uh, they they said that uh, if you're ever by the in, uh, industrial district, to let them know so they can get you sorted. Um. Okay. I guess that I would ask um where I could find them. Oh, just any of the brothers. Okay. Thank you, I guess. They're just standing there rubbing. Um, we're gonna go inside now. <laughs> <laughs> you're going back. <laughs> you're going back in the tavern. No. You said that we made our way to um, Marcus. Yeah, we, were we were like two steps outside. Oh, yeah. Or temple. like right outside. Well, we made it two thing. steps outside the tavern. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I heard temple. Yeah. Uh, we I made it two it steps temple. outside the tavern. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I guess we'll be on our way then. I. Uh, so. <laughs> You guys so start. Gonna, you guys start. Like, bewilderedly, just sidestepping out. From yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a weird sidestep. Where I'm holding my hands behind my back. He's, he's doing the crab walk, making sure they they won't have a chance to see it. Yeah. As you guys are walking away, you hear them start arguing about them. You know, I thought you were gonna do the talking. No, I thought you were gonna do the talking. Well, I didn't know what to say. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> It's typical dwarves when it comes to talking to another race. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was awkward. But, alright, I guess we'll head over to, um, to Marcus now. I just hope they're not trying to set you up with a dwarven woman, because that was sus as fuck. <laughs> That was pretty sus, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, they didn't give you any contacts. They just said they'll take care of you. They're gonna put you in a coffin. The fuck. It, it was also. <laughs> it, it would have been really obvious, especially to a uh, curator, because he spent so much time around dwarves, that they were trying to not have an act. Uh. <laughs> But. <laughs> oh, 
Um, so you guys get to the. Bottom. I would have been very uncomfortable right there too. <laughs> yeah, you guys get to uh, the pathway that's going up the mountain. With port crystal off to the. You guys could have take the long way up, or you can use the port crystal. I vote using the port crystal. It's going to take about eleven hours to get up those stairs. <laughs> I, I vote the fast route as well. Yep, yep. We don't really have all day to take up the um to take the long way. So I sh- I shudder at as I look at the water again, being water instead of blood. <laughs> it's okay. Well, there's enough wine to get you drunk forever, guys. Touch the port crystal, and you port it up to the temple. It looks like there's there. You only see like four people. Um, it looks like the prayer is over. Uh, you actually only at the moment. Uh, could I recall how to get to the regeneration pool from here? I there's a staircase behind the altar. Onward. Unless Unless we see the High Priestess. You do not see the High Priestess. So you guys go downstairs. And there's like five people. Aside from Marcus. Let's see how he's looking. uh, He appears to be sleeping at the moment. More limbs attached to them before? He does appear to have limbs. Ah, he can they, drink. They do not seem to have skin on them yet, though. Oh. oh. Marcus! Look what I got! You guys see Marcus, like, immediately perk up, and before his eyes open, you see and hear him sniffing the air. Bruh, <laughs> do you want wine that bad? <laughs> His whole body turns towards you guys. And then. Ah! You got me a drink! (laughs) One we didn't have to steal! And he tries to walk out of the pool, but. No, 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 stop. (laughs) He forgets that he's missing a leg below the knee on one side, just falls on his face. Push him back into the regeneration pool in case he fell out. He did not fall out. His face just hit the top stair. So listen, dude. You're still fucked up. We'll give you the alcohol in the pool. You you, you got that grip of the gods still? (laughs) He reaches out his hand. This time it has all of its fingers. (laughs) I'm I'm gonna turn the mug so I'm I'm holding it like um, not with the handle, and I handing him handle basically. Hand, yeah, handle first. He grabs the handle and he starts drinking. Oh, finally! You know, I had the craziest dream that when this pool was done healing me, I had no butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let's hope. You have one. You know, I'm going to say a quick prayer, like just praying for Marcus's wisdom to actually smarten up and not be so stupid. (laughs) You are genuinely praying for someone to get smarter? You're going to break your god. (laughs) Remind me when we're done uh, one day to show you (laughs) Character. <laughs> is it like uh, ridiculous uh, you'll see and then but not until <laughs> anyways if he uh, ever dies we'll take a look at it he he just like half cuddles um pitcher wine slowly drinks it like He's, a baby sucking on a bottle. You can keep it, bud. He's <laughs> nursing it so hard. <laughs> yeah. You can keep it. Thank you, buddy. 
We'll come check on you in another day or so, it looks like. Glad it doesn't hurt, at least. And then he starts... He starts flopping his, like, half-existent arm around. Hear it crack. He goes, oh, oh. no, I failed that one. <laughs> I think you should just let it heal, man. <laughs> You're in shambles. Uh. At just least. giving the pool more to regenerate. Just such a like, good. I started to feel like he should get the tough feet just for surviving his ordeal. <clears throat> At mm. least when I eat things now, they don't fall out. <laughs> this is accurate. It's true. This is so true. Are they at least feeding you here, or are you just floating in the pool all day? Uh, yeah, they're... I thought I was just supposed to eat the stuff. And then they yelled at me. He holds up like a clump of the gel of the regeneration pool. <laughs> you got it. How did it taste? It tastes like green water. <laughs> so slime. Never change, Marcus. Never change. Dear God. You could use a little more IQ, in my opinion. Use a little more brain cells. Not even IQ at this point. Uh, anyway, are we ready to go, or do we want to stay and chat a little bit longer? Oh, well, we checked on him. Gave him alcohol. <laughs> We can go try and find Demi now. We'll be. We'll come visit you again later, bud. Next time we get the chance. Okay. <laughs> Any like l- back for generation pool? Still nursing the jug of alcohol. As I'm, as we start walking away, of a. Uh, I hope we didn't get him in trouble. For what? I don't know. Maybe he's not supposed to have booze. All right. So, All right, we're, drink it. we are not ending the session, but I'm going to say let's take a short break and uh, back up. Okay. All right. So. Adventurers return. Uh, quick recap, I guess. Um, you guys went out and gave Marcus alcohol. You gave alcohol to all the people in the tavern. You guys went and uh, got some poor guy to murder his pet. And, <laughs> um. I want to know what you were originally going to do with the roach. Well, I guess you won't know now. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about it after session. Well, we can, if I remember to talk about it. That's or, fine. Or, you know, you guys could remind me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, t- Alright. Now you guys are heading... Uh, Weebly Wobblies. Weebly's Wobblies by the arena. All right. You guys get to the town square, and there's just little, uh, those little, uh, like, street side stalls all over the place. Where people are trying to hawk all kinds of random. There's even some guy trying to hawk uh, like stone uh, balls, uh, like cudgels, stuff like that. It's just there's a big fountain. Them recognize. 
The uh, one that we were all just dumped in. Yep. Yesterday. <laughs> but it seems like now it's uh, you know, a more busy time for the market. Of course, you know, yesterday, most of the people were trying to get the refugee situated. Uh, yeah, that's understandable. A little more civil now. Yep. You can, as you guys walk down the road towards uh, Arena, so you can get to Weebly's Wobblies. Um, you notice the arena built purposefully to be posing from the approach on the side or side size. <laughs> simulated missile as I look at it. There's two statues of on either side of a lich, and it looks like he's fighting a dragon, which is statue on the other side. So, you know, one arc, like statue setups where they're on one side and one other. But it's a lich dragon. Didn't Demi say he was a lich? Uh, he didn't say it, but he kind of, it kind of, was kind of implied because he has a he said he has a um, refractory. And his refractory. guard has a phylactery, yeah. Mm. Chances of that statue being a him? Probably pretty high. I mean, it's possible. Anyway, shall we continue? Mm -hmm. So you guys get around. It's a normal looking store that says Weebly's Wobbly. I really don't like no. it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was out of character. Oh, good, good. <laughs> you guys enter. Anyway. Okay. You guys enter the store, and you immediately notice there's a warforged. He doesn't have legs. He has a ball that he's rolling around on. And oh, there's another one. <laughs> and he's just, like, picking things up off from a shelf and putting it somewhere else, taking things out of boxes, restocking the shelves, relining up things that customers have moved proper positions. He's just all over the place. He goes, Welcome to Weebly's Wobblies, where all the things are here. Are you uh, Weebly Wobbly? I do Weeble as I wobble. <laughs> well, um... I'm drop a beat on that one. <laughs> well, we are looking for some simple things. A block of wood for my friend here. And what size of block of wood? Uh, I guess I'll hold my hands out like a fair enough por portion where I'd be able to go and make a uh, sphere or carve a sphere about the that can fit in the size of my the palm of my hand out of. Well, you can look through the trash over there. I'm pretty sure there's enough in there. And then All it's right. I guess I'll look up. There's various junk in here, but it's also like broken down pieces of pallets and things like that. You know, um, put in crates, boxes that things were delivered in, stuff like that. There's plenty of pieces, like fist sized pieces that used to be in the corners. Uh, that would make one solid wooden sphere. That doesn't sound like very uh, spherical. I mean, your hand isn't very big. True. I said that you could 
or er, none of them spherical. No, you no, could like, carve, I, carve it into was, one. Uh, and there would be like one solid piece of wood in that case. Yeah, it's like a cube. Like they put yeah. it in the corner of a box and then nail boards to it. Oh, I get what you're saying now. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll grab one of those. It's like with the remnants of a paladin sense. Yeah. I used to work with them. I, I just never really thought anything of them, so it was like in the back of my mind that was kind of just natural. Okay. So. <laughs> Reusables. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Do I owe anything for this? We're taking out the trash. Oh. <laughs> All right. Act, I think you should pay him. Oh shit! This. Hold on. <laughs> oh, what? You are correct. Here is a copper young man. <laughs> All right. Was it given to me or Quack? You. He gave it to okay. you. <laughs> he took a um, one thanks. piece of trash. <laughs> I love rolling for everything sometimes. <laughs> I was I was it was a joke. I wasn't expecting you to pay him. Well, you made a valid point. Alright. What would you other find for like here at Weebly Wobblies, Wobblies, Weebly. I'm looking for a wand, quarterstaff, or a rod. Well, we have plenty of wooden dowels, and uh, also have a few quarterstaffs. Would you like one? How much are they? The dowels are five for copper. And a quarter staff is two silver. How big are these dowels? Uh, they're about the thickness of your thumb. No, that won't work. Uh, quarter staff it is. Thank you for your patronage. That will be two silver. I hand him two silver. Why, I thank you. I think if I'd want anything. I mean, we could use health potions. <coughs> do I see any health potions? Do you do the health potions? behind the uh, counter that nobody's at. <laughs> Is there uh can I see like a price tag? Uh yeah. So you go up to the counter and you see that uh the smallest potion uh, it's a potion of healing is fifty gold. Ooh, wow. Uh, well, never mind. We don't need no, um, yeah. health potion. <laughs> yeah. Also, the slightly larger health potion that's a hundred gold. And you see one that's five hundred <laughs> Just gonna start choking and walking away. <laughs> like, just coughing. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Yeah. Health potions are expensive. They really are. Yes, they are. Well, to heal How about something like a first aid kit or something. There's a. Uh, you can see a surgeon's kit for uh, one gold. Hmm. Is there an accordion? Is there an accordion? Oh. Out, <laughs> out uh, of character. How many uses do you get out of, like, the medical kits? Uh, one. Only one use? Yeah. Mm. Um, so, you know like, there's, uh, first aid kits, 
Um, surgeon's kits. Surgeon's kits is like if you lose a limb and you need to reattach it. Or you're uh, trying to save somebody from dying. Whereas mm -hmm. a first aid kit is like, ouchie, I have a boo-boo. Or you're trying to desperately stabilize somebody. Yeah, I was thinking in terms of stabilizing someone. Uh, both uh, a surgeon's um, kit and uh, first aid would do that. Uh, but you uh, know what? Yeah, I'll 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 buy the surgeon's kit. I guess. Okay. Just to have in the back pocket. All right. So I'll sure. take one gold, pass it around. Thank you for your patronage. Are there any other things you require? Uh, how do you spell surgeon? Uh, S U G E O R M. Uh, that looks right, but it's not. I'm not getting any items coming up. No results. Uh, hold on. We can worry about it later. I'll just. You might have to just, turn off proficiency. Oh yeah, I don't have proficiency with that. So. I'm curious if he has a block of cheese. A block of cheese? He absolutely does. There, a matter of fact, there's a whole shelf full of blocks and wheels of cheese. What happens to be the biggest wheel there? There is a... a One hundred pound wheel of cheese. I don't see a surgeon's kit at all in D and D Beyond. May I ask how much this giant wheel of cheese is? The giant wheel of cheese, yes, or silk. I am not I carrying that. Giant wheel of cheese. How do you intend on carrying that? It would I have to be a custom item, me. by the way. The surgeon's kit. Okay. And then I will hand over my four silver. So you go into your inventory, click on your bunnies. And then remove four silver. Yes. And now I have one silver. Yep. You can also turn a gold in and so oh. So I could theoretically have a hundred seventy one silver. Yes. Nice. Alright, so James just has a giant ass wheel to cheat now. <laughs> I would like to see him carry it. I mean that's kind of what I have to do anyway. Got a wax out. Then I'll roll it. Hey, right, James is just rolling around a wheel of cheese. I mean, I can pick it up if he wants me to. I'm just trying to think, like, if you got to go upstairs or shit like that, you're gonna literally carry this around everywhere. Unless if I eat it. Fair. But I'm. I mean, I wouldn't mind sharing it. I was just thinking. If you eat that whole wheel of cheese, <laughs> you are going to get so constipated. I I don't even know what to think. Buy it. Buy it. I'd kind of like to see it, to be honest. But we might have to... Then divine intervention could fix such a degree of constipation. I mean, I could cut it up into even pieces so you guys can have some. Yeah. That would be an option. James is going to go get the dog to stop barking. Uh, okay. That is... Okay, that is an interesting f item. Alright, uh, so how Could tall is the quarterstaff? Quarterstaff is like five feet tall. 
awesome. I'm going to cut it up. <laughs> okay. In front of the shopkeep. I already bought it. It's mine now. You're going to make a mess in the store. And there's no accordion item. <laughs> there's. Ah. Uh... Well, the really? general store does not have. Oh. Maybe somewhere else. <clears throat> they used to uh, be decent at accordion. Did uh, Royal Bay end up banging, you think? What's that? Did Royal end up buying anything? I think of something that'd be to buy. By any chance, would you have like a comically small hat? It would look anything like mine? Uh, would they have what? Like comically small hat, like hat, hat. Okay. So you want to know if they have a small top hat? They not have a small top hat. I'm sorry. Like pause, thud, answer. <laughs> I'm gonna send you something that I think would be funny if they had. That. Uh, while we're waiting on James, uh, do I just immediately have proficiency with the surgeon's kit? No. Like the ability to use it? Oh, but you can use it. Anyone can just, use it. Okay. I just. So uh, it uh, would be like a medicine check then. So yes. without proficiency. I see. Actually, I am proficient in medicine. I am not. That's good. I have uh, plus one. I can. I could tell that you do plus one. And, uh, met loaded your buddy's head. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. I absolutely did. That's why I am the best person to have a surgeon's kit that can reattach limbs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could mend limbs back on, I guess. That one's 100% up to doctor. Hi. I'm I'm just here to tell you guys what happens when you try and do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is all up to us to what we want to do. What you try to do? Try anything. Like Quack could run to the rooftop and try and jump off and fly. Doesn't mean he's going to. And why me? Well, that, that's a very specific person to go and... No, it's <laughs> because his name is Captain Quack. I was thinking of a duck. Yeah, it's because it oh. was a bird joke. Yeah. Yes. It was a bird joke. Oh, I'm not dead. Yep. Kazi. You're gonna have. You're making me edit. I'm glad I can help. I'm helping improve your YouTube career. I don't want to put that much effort in unless I'm making edits. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, for all you know, maybe you might start making money. There's a lot of people interested in D&D. I, I doubt. I I doubt the. Uh... The sensor would watch far enough into the video. Oh no, it's the algorithm that picks it up. Oh, that's true. 
Trust me, it's got me a few times. Not to mention there's also some people that would probably throw a hissy fit oh. about the insinuations. Regardless. Um, Do they have, um, is there like weapon tassels? Weapon? Yeah, you put like right at the base of a, a spear. Oh, uh, a spearhead. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> if they don't have anything you're looking for. <laughs> no weapon tassels for you, Quack. Just trying to think of something that I would want to buy here that I yeah. can't come up with anything. You, you know, you don't have to buy some every you story. Can you buy another can buy. mug because you gave yours to Mark. I, I mean, just just because I'm here, I'm trying to think of some. Yeah, I'm just saying, buy another mug. You you gave it to Marcus, right? You need a new one. No, I'll probably just get it back. Just... Uh, I don't know. Probability of Marcus losing the mug. Trapped in like a, a five by, you know, ten base. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna. No, but if the nerd, the nuns take it away from them, they're priestesses. Not quite the same thing. Eh, religious figures. Oh. Oh, dot. No, this quarter staff is going to be turned into a predator cannon. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does, um. Does he have feathers? What? Uh, yes, he has feathers, and he, <laughs> your God, Royal. Yes, he does have a uh. Uzi plushie for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Royal, calm down. Why? Uh, ew, I don't know. It apparently there's a small area where they have stuffed it, like stuffies. And... There's just this one row on a shelf in the back corner. Okay. They have stuffed animals. Not weapon tassels. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a All general the kids store. Just have a part time yeah. job of food. just making homemade plushies. Yep. It's the only thing that brings him joy. Facts. It's one oh, silver, it's like by the way, kids. Royal. Oh, yeah. Can I buy it? Yeah. I want to I wanna find a uh, a bright red feather and a bright blue feather. Chances. Oh, they have they both. Have green. Oh, I was gonna be like, they only have green. <laughs> you wanna uh, pick up one of each? Okay. How uh, much for these? One copper. I, I, you know, I, I pull two copper out and give it to him. Okay. For your patronage. Goodbye. Bye. I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck them right into uh, right into my hat. Perfect. All right. So shall we go to the arena then? Arena. What? I said to the arena. Oh. Yep. Shit! My hat already had a red feather in it. <laughs> Oops! Well, I got a second too. one. Ugh. This one, the the old one, is like really worn. Hmm. I pull out the old one. Oh, okay. Ugh. So you guys get to the arena. I'm going. Fall call asleep. the call the session. 
guys getting to the arena before you go up and okay because, All right. because I fully intend on you guys fighting the arena and I am tired <laughs> oh yeah I was gonna intend you know to like be like to have a little fight maybe brush off some you know not be in a life and death situation while we brush off skills Over, you know, if uh, you remember, they have lethal and non-lethal matches. So, it's always that. Uh... Of curiosity, are you recording this? It yeah. was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. You sent me a time in the recording and a timestamp of when I did the apparently loud crackle according to my mother's reaction. I want to see how loud it was. Curiosity. 